Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, make sure you like and subscribe the video so you and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload another video. I've already got a foundation with the CC cream and primer on right now and I have contoured already and added some blush. I'm gonna show you now how to highlight and I'm gonna use our full coverage liquid concealer. It's got a little doe foot end. And I'm going to show you where I would place that. So contouring, we're creating depth to sink, sink in or sink back um, to create some of that dimension. Highlighting is the areas we want to bring forward. So we are going to do a little V right here. And then I just bring a straight line right down to the end of my nose. I use very little on this. I always wipe the extra off, so that's why you'll see me dipping it in multiple times because I don't pick up much product with it. So we're going to add a little bit of highlight right here. If you've got dark circles under your eyes that you're needing to or want to brighten, you can definitely do that just like this. You don't have to bring it all the way down the side of your nose and create this giant triangle. There's no need for all that. So. Less is more, a little dab will do ya. It doesn't take much. This product, when you're using high quality European standard products, you don't need a lot at all. Bring this part out just a little. I don't have any brows on, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes only so you can see kind of the areas where I would apply it um, how I, if I was doing a full face. So this is kind of the areas, this part we're sinking back, we're sinking back the jawline. I wanna brighten this part out so that that adds that dimension. And then also brightening up under the eyes right here above the blush. I'm brightening up here bringing my nose forward because we contoured down the sides to shrink that back. We're gonna bring this part forward so our nose looks slimmer. This again just adds a little light to give you that more pouty look, as well as this is just kind of bringing your natural chin comes forward, so we're just highlighting that area, okay? And then I just take this nice, this brush is very dense. Um, I like blending with this brush because it doesn't take much. Okay, so I just kind of dab with it. You can use your finger, you can use a sponge. It's your preference. There's no right or wrong to make up. Like we're just playing with it. It's personal preference. And your face might be different than the way I would do it if I was doing your makeup. So that's, it's total preference of the areas you personally want to highlight and what you want to sink back. I just kind of blend this up a little bit and come down. I don't want to drag this down the sides because I've already shrank those back. So I'm just highlighting the top, the bridge of my nose. And this part, I'm just kind of bringing across the top of my lip just to add, add some highlight to that where the natural light would hit me.
All right, guys. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of how, con how I contour and highlight my face. Obviously, you don't have to do all of these steps. If you're not worried about bringing your brow bone out or your jawline out and you don't do a super cut contour look, that's okay. You can skip that part. Contouring and highlighting is personal preference and what works for you. What you want to accentuate, what you want to create that shadowed look with, that's all That's all your choice. So play with it. Try different things. Don't be scared of it. It all wipes off. Have a great day, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the page, and we will see you next time. Bye.